<sighs> Daddy. Yes, son? I've decided that I'm moving away to the big smoke for a couple years. Ah, oh, really? Well, that'll be good. Some life experience, see how the other side live. And you know, there's a lot more Sheila's down there, so you might even find yeah, yourself... Yeah, anyway, a... I'm probably going to do a uni course or maybe just piss around the whole time, but I'm going to need a good city driving car like a Dodge Ram or maybe a 300 series Land Cruiser and a house, preferably close to the nightlife or the beach with like five bedrooms so me and my friends can all live together. Oh, and I'm going to need about a year's worth of high income wages. Okay, thanks, Dad. Love you. Whoa, 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 whoa up there a bit. What the fuck did you just ask me for? Just the essentials. Jeez, Dad, stop being a tight prick. The essentials? You at least gonna have a job? I mean, maybe, but if I don't, that's what the year's worth of high income wages are for. Don't you listen? Huh. How about this? You take what you got in the bank right now, call up a few mates, line up a job, and go find a rental. What? No way, it's like crazy expensive to rent. Yeah, it is. Have you ever heard of interest rates? Mm, no. Yeah, I bet you haven't. Yours are incredibly fucking low, so I suggest you grab onto the first woman that looks your way because if you're quick enough, you might have her tied down before she realises she fucked up. You want me to tie up a girl? No, it... Well, sadly, that might end up being your only course of action, son. Now, I suppose, given that you're not willing to do the work to rent, you could just live out of that big V8 unit of yours. But it's getting cold, and teen crime is on the rise. Maybe they'll drag you out of it one night by your big pale ass. Go for a little joyride with you tied to the back diff. And then maybe then, you'll see the value in securing indoor accommodation. Yeah, cool, whatever. Are you buying the house or not? No. Don't you fucking listen? Well, fuck you, Dad. I'll just go live at one of my mate's places. You don't have any mates. Do too. Hundreds of them. They only run with you because you shout them free grog all the time. But I'm not going to be propping you up. You see, mate, you without coin to your mates is like a Sheila working at the Playboy Mansion because the hours are good. It just ain't the fucking case. Nuh-uh. Look, what I'm trying to say is, you've grown fat, suckling at my tit. And yes, maybe I should have weaned you early and we wouldn't be having these issues, but it's too late. You're fucked. Spoiled fruit. And it would be cruel of me, much like the Russians when they sent Laker into space, to let you roll into the big smoke because, son, they'll eat you alive. Who the fuck's Laker? Christ, did you learn nothing at boarding school? Laker was a stray dog off the streets of Moscow. Then the Russians picked her up, put her in a rocket and launched her into space. Now, people think she lasted a few days up there, orbiting the Earth. But the truth is, she only lasted five hours before poor old Laker overheated and slowly cooked to death in severe agony. That's you in the big smoke, mate. A fucking space dog. I thought you always said I was a space cadet. Oh, yeah, mate. You got a lot of titles in the space program. Now, how about you make like NASA and give me some space, eh? Mm -mm. Well, if you think about it, Dad, if you just give me what I need to move away to the big smoke, you'll have all the space you need. Fuck. You got yourself a deal. Great. Love you, Dad. I'll text you my new bank details. I wonder if 1,200 weeks is too late for an abortion. <laughs>